Good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to this edition of uh, Monday Motivation. Hope everybody had a great week last week and I hope you're enjoying the content that we're putting out. If you if you do like, make sure you like, you comment on the videos, that's very important and that you share this with like-minded people and uh, hopefully this can be a great benefit to uh, people and their community. Today, I wanted to tell you a really quick story about where I'm from and an experience that I had growing up and also talk to you about community involvement. So today literally is about community involvement. Uh, I grew up in the Bronx, New York on University Avenue. And I remember when I was growing up, there was this, what we thought was this crazy Puerto Rican guy. He had like rubber bands all over in his hair. He wore this, uh, this dirty cap and he was just a scruggly looking guy. And all he spoke was, uh, was uh, Spanish. And we would constantly see him in front of Holy Spirit Church and he would be cleaning up the block. He would be grabbing trash and he would be like upset. Like his 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 uh, attitude about that trash bin on the ground, he was just ticked off. You could tell. I didn't didn't speak Spanish, but I could tell that he was just just horrified that people would be throwing trash down on the ground, especially in front of a church, right? So I say all of that to say this: it doesn't take much, uh, especially monetarily, to get involved with um, community work, right? This guy didn't have any equipment. He didn't have anything. He just was take, picking up trash that was on the street in front of the church and on the block and he was putting it into trash receptacles that were very nearby because in New York we have trash receptacles probably every 50 feet or every 50 yards right so he was filling up those trash cans with that little trash that he was picking up so today I wanted to talk about community involvement because it doesn't take much to get involved in your community it could literally cost you like a dollar or two and the reason I wanted to talk about this today is because me and my wife were taking a walk in our neighborhood, like, like I do all of the time. We do all of the time. And about a year or two ago, I picked up something. It was very inexpensive and it helps me to be involved in my community. And I want to challenge you and challenge anyone who's watching this video, if someone shared it with you or whatever, to make a similar investment that I did and go out and be a powerhouse in your community to make your, to make your community a more beautiful place. So look, I'm gonna put my, try to uh, pan my camera to where you can actually see um, what, what it is that I'm talking about and then we're gonna end this video, all right? Once I show you uh, what I'm talking about here, I'm gonna quickly end the video, so have a great week, all right? So here we go. You can pick up something like this from the Dollar Tree. It's one of those little grabbers. You see that? It's one of these little grabbers, and that's how much trash you can pick up in your neighborhood. I went a little bit further today. There's a ravine. There's a ravine behind my uh, house, and sometimes kids throw things back down there or whatever, and uh, um, things get washed down in the ravine from further up in the neighborhood. But um, look, this is a challenge to you, and it doesn't take much to get involved in your community. You could literally just be using your two hands and one dollar that I spent at the Dollar Tree and a bucket that's here at the house. Have a great week, you guys. It takes you to get involved in your community if you want it to be a better place. They might think that your neighborhood's a trash can, but you're the one out there getting some good work out and actually making it a better, better more beautiful place. Have a great week.